in this video we will talk about pivot tables pivot tables are very important from data analytics perspective if you are a data analyst often you need to share a lot of reports at aggregated level pivot tables can help us in achieving these aggregations let's understand this concept with an example by taking a data set so i first i will import pandas as pd then I'm going to import NumPy as well because I'm going to use some functions from NumPy. So I'll start reading the data set, tf equal to pd.read underscore excel. So I'm just going to specify the path of the file. So now I've read this data set. This data set has sales, units, transactions, and gross profits. This is the same data set I'm using for throughout this playlist. Now, what if if you need to present the information to the clients at an aggregated level that's when the concept of pivot table comes so what is this aggregation that i've been talking about is suppose i want to understand at each location wise when promotion happens how much sales are there and when promotion happening not happening how much sales are there so this is a scenario that we are talking one scenario that we want to code right now so the scenario is location versus promotion total sales. So you want to understand by location, what is the total number of uh, sales that happen when there is a promotion and when there is no promotion. For this, how we are going to use this is pd dot pivot tables. So pivot table. So you can specify the data set. You need to specify what you need as a rows. So we were thinking of using a location wise, right? So I'll specify location. Then I'm also gonna specify columns. So what you need as a column, sorry. So we'll specify columns. So we need columns as a, when there is a promotion or no promotion. So I'm gonna copy this value from here. And we are talking about total sales i didn't ask for average sales or a median sales like that so i've asked for total sales so you need to specify aggregation function the aggregation function that which i'm going to use is np.sum so this defines my first pivot table so just pay attention to this pivot table this is very important uh, if you are uh, working or applying for a data analyst jobs so what actually we are trying to do here we are trying to analyze the data of bangalore chennai hyderabad and mumbai now these four cities what you are trying to do here is customers gross profits sales and transactions units you got all the outputs but let's talk about only sales because we were looking for sales so i'll subset the data of sales from this now once i subset the data from sales of this so this was when you have a promotion sorry when you don't have a promotion and when you have a promotion the sales that happened in bangalore as well as uh, bangalore when you have a promotion chennai and uh, hyderabad as well as uh, mumbai so now what you need to do is you need to write what is your findings out of this particular table that is the most crucial step just because populating this code will not help us in any way so we have to specify when there is a promotion the sales in bangalore are 10 times roughly i'm specifying okay 10 times higher than no promotions so the crucial step of a data analyst is not just writing a python code to get the output you need to find what is inside this data and you have to make statement like this so that your business can take right decision out of it now let's move to the next one which is what you achieved here is you did bisection of location versus promotion now i want to understand day wise what is happening so which means promotion as well as day wise so you can add one more column specify days sorry here days let's put a quote to this and uh, yeah now what is happening is we are getting sales data 
of each uh, city and this was when there was no promotion and when this is there is a promotion when there was no promotion day one day two day three day six like this when there is a promotion day one day two day three day four day five day seven so this is how you aggregate the information now what is happening here is there are a lot of null values maybe you don't want to have a null values here so what we can do is also you can specify fill underscore value you can do a zero so all the null values that which was there earlier they got converted to zero so this way you can actually avoid null values display in the output the ideal way is when you have a null values you might need to replace this with a mean or a median of this particular category this is just a illustration purpose only i've given this example by filling with the zero but that's not the right method when you are working in um, analytics reports so now we have understood how to segregate this information same thing that we can do at a index level also so let's say location and days now if you notice we got bangalore bangalore day one day two day three day four day seven when there was a promotion what was the sales when there was no promotion we don't have any sales that day it's chennai hyderabad and mumbai so you can add any number of indexes here same way you can add any number of columns here to aggregate the information in fact even you can use np.sum we have used right now let's use a np.mean so this gives the average numbers so like this you can use different aggregation functions and you can extract any elements that which you want out of this particular data set pivot tables is a very important concept again because uh, in a lot of interviews also this will be asked make sure that you understand this concept uh, very well